महाकर्माणी लोकस्वस्थगति प्रभु कर्मफल संगम प्रभावस्थ सरस्वती सुप्रीम पटना जब वार है also human being is called rational animal they are also uh, they are uh, classified among the animals but uh, they are called rational animals so here also in the bhagavad gita the lord says jantava jantava is the plural number of jantu jantu means animal so नादत्ते कस्यचि पाप समबडी इज एंगेज इन द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ सीनफुल एक्टिविटीज बट ही इज नॉट इंड्यूस्ड बाय द लॉर्ड दैट ही शुड बी एंगेज इन सीनफुल एक्टिविटीज सिमिलरली समबडी इज एंगेज in a virtuous activity uh, that that virtuous activity is according to his own <coughs> and i'm to say an association with the more some material nature agamena abhitam gyanam tena muhanti janta but in in this material world either in the more some ignorance or in the more some passion or in the modes of goodness they are all total some total is ignorant some to even a man is in the modes of goodness that is also considered as ignorant because real knowledge real knowledge is to know his relationship with the supreme lord that is real knowledge. unless one is elevated to that position that what is his relation with the supreme lord then all his so called knowledge is also understood as uh, mm-hmm. ignorant uh, just like at the present moment not present moment always people are 
engaged in the matter of uh, economic development for sense gratification. So that is also ignorance. That is also ignorance. <coughs> because advancement of economic development, uh, there is a nice song uh, by Vaishnava. He says that Jarovidda shop mayar bhuyuha. Jarovidda means the material advancement of knowledge is a manifestation of this illusory energy. The illusory energy manifests herself in different ways, and that is called material advancement of knowledge. The material advancement of knowledge means we are becoming more and more illusion. Illusion. Just like today, uh, one of our students, he had been to some doctor for some per business. Now, <coughs> he had some uh, talks with him. So when the student says that we believe in personal God, uh, then the doctor answered that, uh, oh, we believe, the world believed 700 years before like that. Uh, now we have advanced uh, so far that we cannot believe in the personality of God. Now, uh, people think, think that they have made very much advance in the material science. Well, actually, if we uh, scrutinizely study how much advancement they have made, then we can know that practically we have been more illusioned than we have made advance. Now, 700 years before, people were dying. <coughs> Death was there. So, has the advancement of material science during the 700 years has stopped death? No. That is not so. People were suffering from diseases 700 years before. Then, has the material science so much advanced, stopped diseases? No. Uh, people were embarrassed with uh, increase of population. No. Uh, has that been stopped? No. Uh, people were embarrassed with so many death rates. Oh, has, has that been stopped? No, that is not. <coughs> now, uh, 700 years before, the sun was rising on the eastern side. Has the material science stopped? The sun rising on the eastern side? Has it gone to the western side? Uh, no. Then what is this advancement? Simply defying uh, the existence of God is that the advancement of knowledge. Uh, if we materially calculate that uh, practically the major questions which are embarrassing us, Janma Mitsud Jarabhadi, we are embarrassed with the material miseries of life. Uh, that has not been solved. The major questions have been set aside simply by thinking that there is no God, uh, we are God, we are science with everything. Uh, do you think that is a constant of knowledge? No. <coughs> <coughs> so therefore, abhyānena abhritaṁ jñāna. This is, this sort of advancement of knowledge in the material science is also another type of ignorance. The Lord says, Abhyanena abritam jnanam. Real knowledge is now covered. Real knowledge being covered by Nishan, Abhyanena. Tena muhyanti jantava. Therefore, they are actually perplexed. Uh, by the name of so called advancement of knowledge, the whole population of the world, they are now perplexed. Uh, if we do not go into the details, but any sane man will admit that we are not uh, advancing, actually we are degraded in so many ways. 
ज्ञानेन कृत ज्ञान जीषा नाशित आत्मन तीषा आदित्यव ज्ञान प्रकाशयती तत्पर तत्पर दत्पर वर्ड इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट तत्पर में इन रिलेशनशिप विद सुप्रीम लॉ दैट इज दत्पर दैट नॉलेज इज रियल नॉलेज ज्ञान इन बाय स्पिरिचुअल एडवांसमेंट ऑफ नॉलेज वेन यू आर एडवांसिंग इन स्पिरिचुअल एडवांसमेंट ऑफ नॉलेज और कृष्ण कॉन्सेप्ट देन आवर दिस अज्ञान और इग्नोरेंस दैट आई एम द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एंड देर फॉर आइडेंटिफाइंग माई सेल्फ विद दिस बॉडी एंड एक्सटेंसिवली एंड सेंट्रली ऑल्सो Uh, when we are uh, not so much advanced, we think of my body only. But when we are uh, very much advanced in the material science, we think extensively for others also to to be in that category of knowledge. So, jnani na tu, abhyanam, jisham na tu kaasa. Any person who has uh, advanced in this. And spiritual knowledge, Krishna consciousness, then he is that and covering up material knowledge he is dissipated. How the Tisham Adityama Jnana, just like sun rising, the darkness of the night at once dissipated. Similarly, uh, when we advance in Krishna consciousness, spiritual knowledge, then our Uh, material <coughs> conception of life is at once difficult. Tat buddha tadatmana tat tadatmana tan nishtha tat parayana gachanti apunaraviti jnana nidhuta kalmasa. If actually we can advance. <coughs> In the spiritual knowledge of Krishna consciousness, <coughs> then Tadbuddha by that intelligence, uh, Tadatmana, uh, being identified with Krishna, Tanistha, having faith, good faith, Tadparayana, and uh, just uh, surrender soul to that um, supreme personality of Godhead, Gachanti Apnuravitti, then. The result will be that uh, after leaving this body, he is not coming back again. Sunaravisti means this repeated birth and death he is stopped altogether. Dakshanti apna bhakti. Dakshanti means he goes to that place where from he hasn't got to return back. Dakshanti sunaravisti. Sunar sunaravisti. Jnana nidhuta kalma sa. How that position can be attained? The jnana nidhuta palmasa. Uh, palmasa means uh, reactions of sinful activities. That is called palmasa. When uh, reactions of sinful activities has been worked completely, then by that knowledge, by enhancement of spiritual knowledge, the Krishna consciousness, we are uh, uh, eligible now to enter into the uh, kingdom of God. From where we need not come back again. Vidya vinay sampanne brahmane gavi hasine suni jeeva sapaki cha pandita samadarsina. When one is actually advanced in spiritual knowledge, he is in transcendental position. In transcendental position, he is called pandita, a real learned man, and. What is that real learned man? How does he uh, visualize uh, this uh, phenomenal world? He, the uh, Lord says, that vidya vina is sampanne brahmani gavihastine. When one is in the transcendental position, then he sees equally everyone, every living entity. How is that? The vidya vina is sampanne brahmani, a learned brahmi. A learned, intelligent man who is very advanced in material, uh, academical knowledge, 
विद्या विनय संपन्न एंड इज वेरी जंटू एंड एंड कल्चर सच ए इंटेलिजेंट मैन विद्या विनय संपन्न ब्राह्मणी गवि ए काव भक्तिनी एंड एलिफेंट एंड सुनी 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 मीन्स डॉग एंड पपा के एज ए डॉग ईटर डॉग ईटर देर इज ए क्लास हु इज डॉग डॉग ईटर The Pandita Samadhi is one who is in the transcendental condition. He does not discriminate uh, in that way because he uh, understands that they are different living entities and that different dress only. But he sees uh, his own life, the spiritual identity, and he has nothing to do uh, with their activities. He is in transcendental position. And he is concerned with the uh, Krishna consciousness in his activities. He becomes callous with the activities of this world. Uh, uh, just like in the Chaitanya Charita Amrita, the uh, author says that in this material world, which is illusion, our uh, uh, I mean to say division that this is good, this is bad. These are all mental uh, speculation only. In the higher state, uh, they see that in the material bondage, nobody is uh, in goodness. Uh, everyone is in trouble. So this material calculation that this is good, this is bad, and uh, this is happy, and uh, this is miserable, uh, they are in the transcendental position, they think that they are all equal. <coughs> इहैवत जित सर्ग जीशांग साम्य स्थिता मन नान हुई सिचुएटेड इन सच ट्रांसेंडेंटल पोजिशन ऑफ माइंड दैन इहैवत जित सर्ग देन इन दिस वेरी बॉडी ही हेज फॉर्म कार्ड रीबा ही हेज फॉर्म कार्ड रीबा द होल पोजिशन इज दैट वी वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप रीबा रीबा इन दिस मेटीरियल Now uh, there is a story in the Rama. In the Rama, and there is a story when uh, Maharaj Dasarath, Dasarath was the father of Lord Rama. When Rama was a boy, he was about ten years, twelve years old, around uh, fifteen or sixteen years old. He was simply a boy. Now one uh, uh, sage, his name is his very famous sage. Uh, uh, he came. Uh, to Maharaj Dasarath, uh, asking the help of Ram Chandra uh, uh, for killing one demon in the forest, because the sages used to remain in forest. There, that demon was creating some disturbance. So he approached the king. Uh, king is the lord of both the city and the forest. So he prayed that uh, please uh, send your son uh, and help me. Now. At that time, uh, this king uh, inquired from that sage, "O uh, his that jatang punat janmat jaya." Now, just like uh, in our worldly affairs, we um, uh, for gentlemen's etiquette, we ask, uh, "How are you? How things are going on?" Now here, uh, the king was asking the sage, "O his that jatang punat janmat jaya." You are, you have, you have become mendicant. You have become sick just to conquer over death. Conquer over death. Or you have come just to punish the majaya. So that is the highest knowledge. Highest knowledge is to conquer over the death. This sort of idea, of course, now it has become a story. But uh, to conquer over the death. Uh, that was the main problem in at least in the former uh, Vedic civilization days. Everyone, any highest, uh, I mean, highly situated person in knowledge, uh, this his main business was how to conquer death. Uh, and at the present moment, that question has become a subordinate: how to conquer death? Let death there be. So long, death does not come. Let me enjoy and have sense gratification. 
that has become the standard of civilization at the present moment. But a uh, real problem is uh, uh, how to conquer death. They think the scientists say, oh, death is a... Uh, that cannot be conquered. Set aside. Set aside. Now let us uh, prepare something, atomic bomb, so that death can be accelerated. This is scientific action. Death is there. And the problem is formally people used to think of how conquering death, but at the present moment they are thinking, accelerating death, and they call it advancement of knowledge, advancement of science. So this is going. So practically uh, <clears throat> this is ignorance. Uh, real solution, there is no real solution, but Whatever they are doing, we are thinking that making uh, too much advancement. But Lord Sri Krishna says that ihaiva tai jita jita sarga. Sarga means repetition of birth. Ichyat desa samutthena sarge janti parantapa. The sarga, the repetition of birth, is due to our strong desire for material enjoyment. So long we do not discard this desire, a material enjoyment. Uh, so we have to take our birth repeatedly, either in the human form or in the form of a demigod or in the form of a tiger or in the form of a dog or cat. There are so many forms. Uh, there are all different forms in different categories of sense activities. So one who has developed this transcendental knowledge of Krishna consciousness, he conquers death even in this life. Yahiva Sai Jita Sarada. Jisam Shamme Sitafmana. Shamme means equilibrium. Uh, <coughs> equilibrium. Just a, a person in transcendental position, he sees equally the intelligent man and the dog equal. Intelligent man and the dog equal. Uh, a Brahmin. Uh, a dog, a cow, an elephant, and, and a dog eater. So all these categories, there are different categories of life, but one who is situated in the transcendental position, they uh, uh, do not see any difference, because in the material world, uh, this, uh, I mean, this position is higher and this position is lower. Uh, they are all simply mental speculation. Actually, unless one he is not situated in the Krishna consciousness, he is higher and lower calculation or uh, so called speculation. That's all. So, Yahivata is Jita Sarga, Jisam Samisitam. Samisitam, one who has cultured himself that these uh, different activities of the material world has nothing to do with him. His only business is to become Krishna conscious. Then it is to be understood that he has conquered death even in the uh, uh, present life. Yai. Niddosa hi samang brahma tasmad brahmani te sitaha. Niddosa. This sort of equilibrium and the transcendental stage of Krishna consciousness, niddosam, a uh, faultless, this is called faultless life. Niddosin samang brahma, and when it is faultless or beyond the uh, spell of the material nature, then that is the stage of brahma. Brahma, aham brahmadme, and the Vedic literature, and, and I mean, uh, gives us an instruction that you are brahma, you are not this matter. And this is the position of brahma. How? When one is in transcendental position, niddosam is samang brahma, tasma brahmani te sita, and one who is situated in such condition of life, he is already in uh, brahma, but such a brahmani is sita. Na prahishet. Uh, now, what are, what, uh, what are the signs? Now, Krishna describes the symptoms of this stage. Simply, superficially, if we think that I am already in the Brahma stage of life, no, there should be symptoms. Now, here Krishna says, 
it is still out of Brahma. <coughs> Simply if I say that I have now and hundred millions of dollars in my bag, that will not do. There must be some symptom that actually I have got. I am doing something which requires money, I am spending like that. Then one can track, oh, yes, this man has got some money. <coughs> Similarly, uh, simply by understanding that I am in Brahma city, oh, no, I am Brahmasmi, then I am doing all the nonsense, ordinary work. No, that is not. Here, Krishna gives the symptoms how one is situated in the Brahma situation. Na prahishet priyam prapya. When uh, one is situated in uh, Brahma conception of life, a Krishna conception of life, suppose all of a sudden he gets some hundred millions of dollars. Uh, suppose he is a poor man, but all of a sudden, and there was a case in, in there are many cases, in India there was a case in Calcutta, one and uh, uh, what is called the caretaker of the horse? What is his call? What is his name? Groom. Eh? Groom. Uh, yes. He with his master purchased some lottery ticket, and the master did not get anything. Eh? But the groom, he he got some ten lakh rupees or something like that. His name was there. So when he was informed by the master, oh, you have got this money, he at once held his heart and died. So he thought, oh, so much money I have got. So thinking that he, uh, there was heart failure in that. <laughs> yes, uh, all of a sudden this happens, you see. Uh, it is a shock. Uh, just like we get some horrible shock. So this is pleasure shock. This is pleasure shock. Uh, because he was a poor man, ordinary man. When he understood that I have got ten millions of dollars in my bank now, oh, he becomes soft at once that. So here, the same thing. One who is actually in the stage of equilibrium, not prahishet priyam prapa, suppose something, there are, in our present stage of life, although we may be situated in a transcendental position, Still, so long this material body is there, uh, we are materially connected. Under the circumstances, there are uh, so many wants, so many, uh, I mean to say, requisition, that is uh, quite possible. But one who is actually situated in the transcendental position, a no prahishetriyam prapa is something favorable, God. Uh, he does not become too much. He thinks all that by Krishna's uh, grace, I have got this, let me engage it in the Krishna service. Yes. Because he has dedicated his life. Uh, he dedicated his life. He, do, he does not uh, uh, claim anything. Uh, everything Krishna's property. So if something is uh, obtained, achieved, some favorable thing, he engages that thing in the service of the law. Uh, that, that is his happiness. That is his happiness. That's the family man. Whatever he earns, if he can spend for the family, then he becomes uh, happy. Because his affection is there in the family. Similarly, some great man uh, of the country, if he can give some service to the people, to the country, he, he feels happy. Similarly, uh, a man, who is in Krishna consciousness, if he gave some opportunity to serve uh, more, I mean to say, accelerately in the service of the Lord, then he feels happy. But not material. Not prahishe priyam prapa, no vijet prapa cha priyam. This is our disease. In the material consciousness of life, we uh, do not want what is unfavorable. But we want simply favor. But the uh, laws of nature, uh, they are so cruel that uh, they enforce upon us unfavorable things. Uh, uh, 
But uh, one who is transcendentally realized, he does not care for the unfavorable or the favorable. He knows that when uh, the time will come, the, the, either the favorable things will come or unfavorable things will come in the law of nature, let me be engaged in my own business, Krishna consciousness. Sīra buddhi asanamura brahmamid brahmamid sita. Sīra buddhi. He is steady. He is steady in his conclusion. He is not uh, changing. Steady in his conclusion. Asanamura. Asanamura means he is not bewildered. Uh, Brahmamid, because he knows what is Brahma. And Brahman is sita and he is situated uh, in uh, Brahma. Sīra buddhi rasanamura. Brahma bhi brahmani sitaha. Bāyas parseshu atapta atmā vindati ātmane jat sukham sa brahma yoga yukta atmā sukham akham asnute. Now, the one who is situated in that transcendental position, he is not attached. Bāyas parseshu asaptātmā. So those who are materially situated, they take pleasure uh, outside, uh, which is in contact with my senses, uh, in contact with my senses. And the uh, highest uh, contact of senses in the material world is the sex contact. So now one who is situated in this Brahman, so he has no connection with the uh, external things and uh, enjoy uh, with the sense attachment. Vāya sparsa. Sparsa means touch, and vāya means external. So he is not interested in such sort of happiness. Vāya sparsesho asakta. He is detached. He is detached from. He is ātmā. He is, uh, I mean to say, Atma means mind, Atma means body, and Atma means soul. So you take either way, either body, soul, or mind. He is, he is detached from such external. He is not a, um, attached to that external happiness. Vinnati Atmani Jasukha. He enjoys within himself. Oh. Enjoys within himself. That is real happiness. Oh. There, this word Rama, we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This Rama, the Rama means that uh, mm. unlimited uh, enjoyment in real happiness. There is another meaning of Rama. Uh, Rama, Lord Rama, that is all right. And, and also some grammatical meaning that uh, Rama means Ramante. Rama, Ramante means to enjoy. So there is a word in Bhagavad. Ramante yogina anante satyanande chidatmani iti rama pade nasu param brahma iti avidhyas. Ramante yogina. Yogina means those who are advancing in spiritual science and advancing in Krishna consciousness, they are called yogi. The Ramante yogina. The yogina, they take pleasure. Satyanande. Satyanande means an actual happiness. Because the living entity, he is Satchitananda uh, Vigraha. Happiness, he is prerogative. Uh, he cannot, why shall he be uh, and, and put into misery? That is not his position. He should be always in happiness. Uh, so their happiness, we do not know here. In the material conception of life, we do not know what is happiness. Uh, so the, those who are yogi, those who are transcendental, advanced in spiritual life, they know what is happiness. The Ramante Yogina Anante Anante happiness means which has no end. That is happiness. According to uh, Vedic literature, happiness has no end. Unlimited happiness. Here in the material world, whatever we consider happiness, that is limit. That has its end. But a spiritual happiness uh, is calculated just like uh, spirit is unlimited. Similarly, spiritual happiness is also unlimited. 
तो रमन ते जोगी ना आनंद ते सत्यानंद सत्यानंद मीन्स रियल है सत्यानंद एंड व्हाट इज दैट सत्यानंद चिदात्मनी चित चित मीन्स नॉलेज एंड आत्मा वेन द आत्मा इज डेवलप इन फुल नॉलेज ऑफ कृष्ण कॉन्सियसनेस दैट शॉर्ट ऑफ हैपीनेस इज रियल हैपीनेस मध्यास्पर्शी स्वसत्ता असत्ता आत्मा बिन्नति आत्मनी आत्मनी मीन दिस इज सुपर सो द रिलेशन बिटवीन द सोल एंड सुपर सो दैट इज कल दैट इज कस रास अ डांस यू हैव हार्ड अबाउट क्रिसमस रास अ डांस दैट इज हैपीनेस एंड इन ए फील्ड ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट हैपीनेस इज रियलाइज सो स ब्रह्म जोग युक्त आत्मा सुखम अक्षम अस्मिते अक्षम मीन्स दैट डज नॉट पास है नॉट सी करे नॉट सी करे हियर इन द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड ऑल हैप्पीनेस द सो कॉल हैप्पीनेस देर ऑल फ्री करे दे कम एंड गो देर फोर वन ही इज ट्रांसेंडेंटली सिचुएटेड ही डज नॉट केयर फॉर हैप्पीनेस और डिस्टेंस बिकॉज ही नॉट this happy either this happiness or this distress it has appeared and it will go it will go so why i shall describe with distress also because this uh, in the nature of this world just like uh, uh snow falls in your country and snow falls now we are expecting snow falls but last year there was snow fall it has gone and again they are coming so anything of this world they come and go they come and go so he shall not be disturbed and in bhagavad gita also uh, lord krishna advised arjuna that matra sparshat kaunti asitoshna sita dukha agamo paina anitya tam sitikha sarharat even there are distress in this material world we should learn to tolerate because these are ephemeral they are they not neither real distress neither real we should be callous either of this happiness or this thing. Uh, so some one who is like that uh, he sab brahma jog jukta atma sukham akhayam akham means who is does not deteriorate that sort of happiness he enjoy uh, uh, jehi sansparsha jab hoga dukh jo na evate uh, and one who is attacked with the touch stone uh, I mean, there's a sense touch uh, that he must know that he is uh, inviting miseries of life. He is inviting miseries of life. Je hi sanspar sajab hoga any uh, enjoyment which is uh, uh, derived out of the touch of the senses, we should know that is meant for our miserable life. जे ही संस्पर्श जरा होगा दुख जो नए दुख जो नए मीन्स देन इन फ्यूचर आई लव टू सफर फॉर दैट दैट सेल्फ कंट्रोल इज वेरी एसेंशियल इन द मेटीरियल एडवांस इन द स्पिरिचुअल एडवांस इन ऑफ लाइफ संस्पर्श द हैप्पीनेस डिराइव मेटीरियल हैप्पीनेस डिराइव आउट ऑफ द टच ऑफ सेंसेस इट इज क्लियर स्टेटेड दुख जो नए They are the mother of all miseries. Mother of all miseries. There are so many instances, uh, and uh, in Bhagavat also we have got a uh, very nice slow uh, verse, and it was spoken by Pallad Maharaj. Janma itna adigrahme di sukham mitu chham kandu yani na karayu rivadut khadut kham. Ah, ah. He said that uh, in this material world. the people are uh, thinking that they are happy why na and because they have that sex happiness then my sunadi grihame di sukham niti chha and what is that sex happiness it is kanyane na karayu divu dukha dukham suppose you have got some each as in your hand and you uh, eat it very uh, uh, according to your that is sex then after the effect the effect of such eating is very hard uh, So similarly, this is a kind of eating sensation. So, kanu teva manasija visaye pasira. So, one who wants to cure this eating, he should be uh, should be a little tolerant, tolerant, and and then 
he will be cured of this itching. Yeah. Yeah. Eating, if you, don't, if you stop eating, then it automatically cures. Yeah. Similarly, the sparsida sukham, the uh, happiness which is enjoyed by sense touch, uh, that is dukha juna, Lord Sri Krishna says, that is the, uh, I mean the, um, I mean the generating, generating distress, generating distress. Dukha juna evate, adhyanta vanta kaunteya nati suramate buddha. Oh, no. And somebody may say, oh, no, this is very good happiness. But Krishna says, the, that is distress in the beginning, and the, that is uh, um, distress at the end. Kauntaya, nati suramate buddha. Therefore, those who are intelligent, they refrain from such happiness. They refrain from that. Adya, addo, anta, avanta. In the beginning also, for arrangement of sex life, there is uh, so many uh, distress, and uh, at the end also, there is so many distress. So, sense gratification, they should be, uh, so, so long we are in this material world, there is need that uh, that should be regulated. That should not be extravagant or unrestricted. Then we call for distance. That is in this chapter. Thank you. Now there is a question.